I am going to explain to you partner functions usage with an example let's do it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a sales order with uh, different billing bill to party and uh, payer so before that let me just explain to you partner functions the various type of partner functions we have firstly we have sold to party we have sold to party and ship to party bill to party payer so the difference between sold to party and ship to party is when I designate a different customer number as a sold to party when I raise a sales order the sales price that I have defined for this customer number will be used as a default price for the sales order so although I have a specified customer number A here and B here ship to party B when I raise a sales order if I select uh, I mean in the sales order if I specify the sold to party as A and ship to party as B the selling price that I have defined for B for the same material will not be populated in the sales order instead of that the selling price that I have defined for sold to party A will be used in the sales order so this is the difference and then comes bill to party so what information will be used from this customer B when I define the ship to party as B when I ship the products to the customer the shipping address which has been defined for this customer B will be used as a shipping address in the outbound delivery document automatically because I already specified the ship to party as B so the shipping address specified for A will not be used in the outbound delivery so that's the purpose of having a different ship to party here and the bill to party is the invoice will be raised for this customer C so the address which is specified for this customer C will be displayed in the invoice that will be generating based on this sales order that's the purpose of build to party partner function and the payer and the payer if I specify a customer number D when I release the bill billing document to accounting the AR data AR receivables will be created for this customer number which is D and now for C this is what I'm going to show now I'm going to demonstrate this to you this two whereby I specify a bill to party uh, as customer number 50002 and for payer I'm going to specify another customer number and I'll generate a billing document and release it to accounting and we'll see how the customer numbers are updated let me save this document first partner functions usage now let me create quickly create a sales order let me create with reference uh, okay let us create from the scratch ABO press enter sold to party 
let me just check whether I have different customer first of all I got only one customer then I may have to create another customer let me just check oops this is not the one and go by account group customer no okay let us choose this I may quit go back create I'm gonna enter LP division so choose not this choose street customers these the uh, T cust customer account group and I've got okay I've got uh, one more customer here so I can make use of this let me create sold to party as 50002 and create the sales order but before we create a uh, sales order I forgot to specify the partner function in the customer master so let us go and define it first go to xd02 02 xd02 and choose this guy because the partner functions have been have to be specified in the customer master itself under the sales area data over here so I'm going to specify a different customer for the payer so let me just choose son let me specify this guy here customer B as my payer customer 5001 has not been created for sales area so we need to create it first NYRELP so let's do the creation before we assign it XD01 choose trade customers enter this sum and click OK save it right now okay let us go to sorry not here number two and change the partner functions to one for payer and save it right done so let us go and create the sales order let me quit just in case if I it's not refreshed so my customer will be same let me choose it from my take us customer 50002 press enter and one two four seven order quantity three press enter oh we haven't specified the uh, header so enter USD here press enter and go back 
I'll remove the credit block then uh, save it edit we need to specify the encode terms complete data FOB FOB save free the mean terms of payment is immediate gross weight 80 net weight far for whatever you want to enter document is complete let's save it Okay, one one seven six seven have been saved. Let me go and uh, create the outbound delivery for this. Center okay, three units plus save posted. Now let us do the billing from the outbound delivery. We will see how the system posts the AR data to the payer. Billing document create. Press enter. No billing document generated. Why is it so? Let me check. Goods issue has not been posted. Oh, sorry, I forgotten one step. Go to outbound delivery. Go to change you can click here straight away delivery has not yet been put away picked completely so go to change press enter go to pick quantity enter 3 save or you can click the post course issue here Posting only possible. Okay, this because of the dates. Press enter. Where is the date? Actual goods issue date is 20.05.2060. So, MM period, which is open. Now it should be okay. I think I pressed the button too fast. Let me just check whether it has been saved. Press enter. So it says delivery has been saved. So now let us check. still being processed let me quit once close this now let us open now press post course issue hopefully it's been updated in the database goods issue has already been posted for delivery okay I think just now it has been uh, updated so let me just check the sales flow let me check the material document has been generated let 
yes the material document has already been generated here you can see display document there is a material document so now we should be able to build now let's go back go to create press enter it's working all right can you see the pay here 50001 this is the one that I want to show to you so pay attention if we go to the sales document let me let me go from here itself oops not this one this is our invoice if I were to go to the sales document VA03 this is our sales document the so with the sold to party is 5002 but here the payer is selected 5001 because we have already defined in the customer master that the payer should be 5001 that's why the smart system is smart enough to actually change the payer to 5001 during billing creation so let us create the billing now all right this is created let's go to the accounting document display accounting document okay this is what I wanted to show you so the AR dot data for this sales order is created under 5001 as per our specification here the AR data is created posted for customer B whereas the sales order still remains for customer C this is the difference so if we go to document relationship browser you can see this clearly let's look at it now accounting document let me just check here document date is posting date is 2006 okay that's all right So for this accounting document, if we go to relationship browser, we can see the billing document and sales order. If you go to sales order, you see the sold to party is 5002, but the accounting document has been posted to this customer B. This is what I wanted to explain here in the various types of uh, partners and the usage of partner functions this is how we can make use of the partner functions over here is this clear